So I know we had discussed doing hardwood flooring throughout, living room, kitchen, dining room, espresso. We come up on a happy surprise, but I'm very reluctant to be 100% happy until I see the condition of the entire floor. Look at this. Look at the floor. Well, I think that looks just like what I picked out. And as we pulled back more and more, we saw the floor was in worse shape. Well, here's the thing. And now you start to peel it back. It's starting to get a little funkier. What is this? Hmm. That's why they put carpet down. That's why they put carpet down. Because yeah. it's, I mean, it's not it, a sandable it, it, surface. It, it, so then you got to determine, OK, is it worth it to just run new flooring? How much is that going to cost? What will it look like? Or do we try to salvage the flooring that's here? What will that cost? What will it look like? So a lot of variables to consider. And I would much rather go with the new flooring that you have. <laughs> Once again, too good to be true. So if we sanded those areas down or we try to match the areas would be more time consuming and more challenging and probably wouldn't look as good as if we just installed all new flooring. Dang it, I'm sad. If you have a very large or a small space, it's very important to look at the different types of flooring that you want to use. So with Todd and Camille wanting to do a lot of entertaining, I wanted to pick something that was going to be high traffic. And of course, they loved the darker hardwood floor. I probably would have went at least two shades lighter because it was such a big space. That's a lot of dark hardwood floor. And then you go on to the Lincoln pavers that are throughout the rest of the house, which is also a very dominant feature. 